Good morning, friends. Welcome to Crafting with Corky. <clears throat> I was working along on this um, journal cover that I've made from an old English book. I loved the color of it. And um, so I decided I was going to start using some of the pretty clip art that I have and some of the digitals that I have because when I made this book over the weekend I used a digital and I loved how it turned out and I thought I've got other digitals that would make really pretty uh, book covers and this is one of them this is on my Etsy um, so you can grab it if you'd like and I'll put a link to it down below. But as I was working on it, okay, the um, actual, the original spine was in bad shape, so I knew I was going to have to get rid of it and make my own spine. I decided to make a cloth-covered spine, or a cloth spine, and I had some old tip, ticking fabric, so I doubled it. Um, it's four inches wide, and um, I glued down the middle on, on the inside and then I took my sewing machine and um, I sewed one inch in on both sides straight down and then I did a zigzag across the, the middle. I've done this technique on another uh, journal that I had sold and if I can find that I will put that on the um, down below as a link to it in um, my YouTube. So this is how I do it, okay? So I also measured every inch and used my crop dial to punch a hole every inch down the inside part of the um, front cover and then the inside part of the back cover as well. I just turned them like this and marked. Now if you don't have a crop a dial, maybe you have a drill and that would do the same thing. You could use a drill and then you could drill them both at the same time. So what I will do now is I will glue cover to the, the front cover to the spine on the inside and so then I'll do the outside so let me get to that point and I'll be right back okay so I got the first or the front cover done um, it's attached and um, on the inside and the outside and so now I'll go ahead and do the back cover so you guys can see it I'll change this around okay so what I'm gonna do is um, I use fabric Fabri-Tac and um, just about an inch in kind of close to those holes that I punched Goop it up pretty good because it's going to have to um, be pretty strong. Um, the holes that I punched are for uh, putting some buttons. And uh, hopefully the, the sewing of the buttons will strengthen it as well. I'm going to run my finger here and kind of open up, up that seam a bit to help me out here. Just kind of put that right up against there and uh, I think it's the same lined up the same down below as it is on the top so get that pushed down nice so it can adhere really well And then we're going to do this part. 
hopefully I'm in in the screen here. I've been wanting to do some tutorials, so I'm glad I kind of had this chance to show this fun little technique that I'm sure I'm not the first person who who's who did it, but when I did it, oh, I don't remember how long ago, maybe a year ago when I did it, I was just so tickled with how it turned out, and I kept it in the back of my mind uh, as, you know, when you come across some nice-looking um, old books, but the spine is in bad shape. So this gives you um, a, something you can do to resolve that problem. And then, so when this is all nice and secured, then you've got a nice little book with a a, a pretty sturdy fabric spine. And uh, so now we'll try and do the buttons. At first I thought maybe I'd go with the red because that would pull from here. But when I laid some red buttons down, it just looked too, I don't know, circusy or childlike or whatever. And maybe that would be okay. But that's not the look I was going for. So I found some black. My dear mother-in-law, she and I are um, kindred spirits. She passed away oh, about four or five years ago, and her sewing room and her craft room were like a treasure to me. <laughs> so I, I got a lot of her good things. She had a whole bunch of buttons that she had all in. <laughs> you know, she'd separated them by color and size, and but mainly just by color. So um, let's see. Oh, here's a neat old kind of a brownish one. I like that one. Um, it's kind of the, I want to stay about that same size, not too much smaller, I think. Um, so here's another. And how many holes did I have? I think I had six, so I'm going to need six, one, two, three, four, five, and one more. So, here we go. Okay, so I've covered up my holes. Um, let's see, here's a pin cushion, so we'll find those holes again. That might have been a step I needed to, um, be sure of. But, um, I think it was about an inch down, so I can just start. <laughs> okay, cork. Crafting with corky, full of surprises. Let me um, pause while I find it. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I found the holes and I put little stick pins where the holes are at on the front cover. I'll have to do the same on the back cover. So I have already loaded up a couple needles with some thread so I can start adding my buttons. So find that first one and I will replace the stick pin with my needle. Okay. So here we go. I'll go right back down in that hole as close as I can, just a little bit away from the original thread hole. Pull that out. There we go. And then just go a few more times. Oops, sorry. Oh, come on. 
I think when I did it with the other book, instead of buttons, I just took some, um, like a baker's twine kind of, um, not thread, but string, um, and then I just, you know, went through like that. But I thought buttons would look, look fun. Maybe I'm going to be sorry and wish I just sewed it with some baker's twine, <laughs> but it'll take a while. And I'm not, I'm, I kind of like that, so I probably will continue. Now on the back, I will probably just go from one button to the next with my thread. And then all of this will be covered up with the lining pa paper for the inside of the, um, the inside cover. So I think you guys can kind of get the picture of what this will end up being. Um, it's about, let's see, I think it's two inches here. So I'm probably going to put, oh, probably four or five signatures, probably four signatures in it. And I'll just use this as the, you know, what's going to hold my signatures. So I think that's pretty good. I think this gives you an idea on how to attach um, a nice sturdy fabric spine for maybe an old book that you've lost the spine for. Well, I hope you enjoyed this and um, if you did, give me a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell so you can uh, be notified of other videos coming your way. Thanks for coming along. I sure appreciate you. Bye now.